All right, YouTube, we're here for round six of the Modern Challenge. I lost last round to, to Black Red Hollow one. I kept kind of a sketchy hand and in game one, and then just kind of got just got hollow one out on game two. Like, their burning increase hit my important cards. This hand's very good. Their burning increase hit my important cards, and just kind of worked. Now, who is that? What, what does this mean? Like what is what is like the is this like a treasure chest thing like leader or something like that? I just don't know what that means. All right, steam vents. They pause there. This makes me think that they grabbed the wrong land on accident. So definitely, I think I'm gonna lead off with an overgrown tomb into an Inquisition of Crow's Lodge. I'm going to put my opponent on Storm to start. The, the polluted delta is kind of weird, but you theoretically can play any blue, any blue land with Storm. It could be Jeskai. I just want to get this Tarmogoyf down. I'll leave them with a path to exile if they have a path, because like I don't mind if my Goyf gets passed. Oh, playing against Grixis Death Shadow. So they went top bottom. I'm just gonna take this K command. The Shadow Mirror. Fire. Okay, so here comes they get a tasker down. <clears throat> which is a little unfortunate. Then their hands are stub stub. Serum Visions. So, yeah, that's... This is going to be a tough one to handle. They went bottom. Because they have this Tasker backed up by two Stubborn Denials. And my Tarmo Boy is not that large. Right now. Alright, well, it's going to get larger. So I'm just 100% casting this Tarmogoyf, and I'm probably shocking myself. Because I think the way that I'm going to deal with this Tarmogoyf, with this, with this Tasker, is hopefully bolt it. Just hopefully bolt it. Like, that's that's how we're going to deal with that. I'm going to keep on top. And Inquisition. Alright, that likely takes my Lightning Bolt. Which means that this thing, but if they take the lightning bolt, if they take any of my actually if they take any of my creatures, all of a sudden the Tarmogoyf matches up pretty favorably with this Tassiger. As in size wise. And again, my Tarmogoyf, like, I can bolt this. I can trade bolt for Stubborn Denial and still block this. And I'm totally okay trading a bolt for Stubborn Denial. Like, that is okay. Let's take a look. My opponent wants to stub this, they can stub this. It's just gonna take a stubborn denial, so. Okay, I think I'm gonna hold now. And if my opponent attacks. Oh god, incoming Kolagon's command. I'm just gonna take this because it's it's gonna make my shadow larger.
So he must have a K command. Or a lightning bolt. I'm gonna pass. Well, now fatal push is Rex. Like a fatal, if you get a fatal push, like K. He, yeah, I think he has a K command. I think that's what that attack suggested for my opponent. Or he wanted me to attack him back so that I could he could then play his own Death Shadow. That's another option. My opponent is actually actually needs to block here. Give me one second. If he flashes in a Snapcaster Mage, I'm just going to pass priority. Then here comes a K command, I think. I don't really want to go too much lower. Oh shit, I could have killed him right there. Son of a bitch. Oh, that's frustrating. I could have just killed him. Fetch Shock, Strike on Street Wraith. Would have died to a Lightning Bolt or that Colorgon's command. So, I'm actually glad I didn't do that. But. Gotta take the Elf. I'm not gonna fetch. So double red from our opponent. What does that mean? His last card, I guess he has that fatal push. Okay. Maybe he's got stub. I guess three stubs is pretty industry standard. The Jace. Holy shit. Holy shit. I think I'm gonna fetch now, get a tap land. Probably cycle. Well, can I go down to four? I think I can go down to four. Let's let's cycle this at the end of the turn. Okay. Oh, this Jace is gonna win him this game. Maybe I was supposed to be more aggressive. But that Jace is big game.
We got a couple outs. Like we have one more bolt. I can traverse for a basic forest. If I rip, rip traverse or blood ray off, I can go basic forest and get it. We have four traverses left in the deck. Two blood braid elves, three blood or two blood braid elves, four traverses. That's what I really want here. I really want a blood braid elf. I put a card on the bottom. And I put a card on the bottom. Okay. All right, ding. So I'm just gonna lose the lightning bolt here. All right, that's good. This is this checks for like a removal spell, like a K command. Yep. Oh, what? He bolted me. Hmm. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, we chose to lose the lightning bolt there, and that's exactly what happened. Okay, so I want these four. And I'm going to cut the Brutalities and the Bolt. I actually kind of want to leave Bolt in if he's got Jace the Mind Sculptor in his deck. I don't want too many K Commands. Because, like, they don't really kill anything. But they rebuy Blood Raid Elves, which is pretty gas. I could cut one more of these. Yeah, I want the play. Be more aggressive. You gotta be able to kill the uh, you gotta kill the death shadows. Oh, that was sad. I could have just traversed for a death shadow, traversed for another death shadow. I could traverse for death shadow and play a death shadow, and not lost the lightning bolt. So maybe you could have done that, but. It's not great, but I'm going to keep it. I'm actually going to traverse on one. Because we just want to get to, we want to get up to our mana here to cast everything on time. Um, I'm going to get a swamp. Oh, shoot. I should have got a forest there because this doesn't get stomping ground. So as soon as I find a threat, my hand is very good. I just need a threat. Do not want to see a delve creature. Ever. Never, ever want to see a delve creature. Actually, I gotta fetch this tapped. Get a tapped blood crypt. There's no need to go too much lower. So, the board out stubborn denial.
I think they boarded out seven denial. Okay. Now he can just flash in a Snapcaster Mage and then like K command it, but okay. If he plays a Delve card here, I actually can shrink it and then kill it with Command and Bolt, make him discard a card. No longer can do that. Pulse makes me feel all warm inside. Because that's a, something to deal with a Delve card. I actually can even shrink the creature with Liliana to turn off Ferocious, which is kind of cool. What does that mean? Jesus. I take the command. Oh, my opponent could have played some one one shadows, they wouldn't have done anything. Looks like we might just ult this Liliana. We hope our opponent draws a land here. It then goes Death Shadow, Death Shadow, Young Pyromancer. Unfortunately, he can push one of the... If he draws, he can then push one of the cards here. Fulminator Man. I think I'm just going to bolt the Fulminator Mage. Though I could command make him discard. Hopefully he hits. Well, hopefully he just... It doesn't really matter. I just need to bolt this thing, actually. I could have plussed on it. That was also stupid. Gosh, I'm all over the place. I should have just put plussed on it and kept my Lightning Bolt. I have not played these games very well. Yeah, that was stupid. That was, that was frustrating. But now we're going to ult this Liliana next turn, so... Unless he's got Battle Rages or like a Lightning Bolt to kill this, then I should be in good shape. That was very frustrating. That was just a really poor play from my part. Something that I should not be doing. Okay. So on the draw, I think I'm going to cut one of these. Well, I'm just going to keep it the same, I think. I don't have a lot for this matchup anymore. But modern has changed. I do wish I had Lingering Souls, you know. Yeah, I'm going to keep this hand. If he thought, if he discard spells my Traverse, then he discard spells my Traverse. His hand is very soft to a Delve creature. I assume he takes Liliana. 
Unless he's got more discard spells. If he discards with my Liliana, I'm basically going to have Delirium. I'm going to have Delirium on one. Takes my Traverse. Okay. Let's see. So I'm going to get Overgrown Tomb. I'm just going to Inquisition now because I'm not cracked this bobble. I'm going to take the card he can cast. Step one for my opponent. Here comes Pyro. Okay. We draw two cards. Whew. Now we just got to hope that my opponent misses on the land drop one time. So here comes a Fulman Intermage. Maybe I was supposed to take this Kologon's Command. Oh, I don't know. It's hard taking a 3-drop when he needs to go Runner Runner with lands. Well, we are going Runner Runner with lands as well. Take my Liliana. This last card is Command. I don't have any creatures to bring back. I think I'm just going to get some tap lands here. I do think I'm going to have to Command to discard, get his Command out of his hand. My modes suck. What's he gonna do? He's going to command my Liliana if I play it. Yeah, I just need to get this Liliana out of my opponent's hand. I guess I'll just shock myself. I'll shock this. good draws. Put one on top, one on the bottom. It's odd that he plays the mountain. And we're going to cast this. Hopefully this doesn't get killed. But if it does, at least it gained me some life. You need a fetch land in order to kill this. Okay. God. That's brutal. So now what do I need? I need... He's got a mountain in his hand, and that's it. Okay, so he gets this off the battlefield.
All right, I'm just gonna play this out because we make so we can traverse for an elf if we need to. Okay. Keep us in the game. It's like, who misses first? So he's got one card left, and he's got a mountain in his hand. Bloodbraid Elf. Okay. Again, that doesn't get me back a creature, which isn't good. I'm just going to keep this in my hand. So what could he have in his hand that would make me want to discard right now? It's nothing. He's just going to discard his mountain. So my, my kid command is not doing anything. My lady. Come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Give me some of that. Yes. There's the mountain. There's the mountain. It's a Jace. This is a Street Wraith. Okay. It's okay. I'll just shock the Street Wraith, re return my Death Shadow, return my Blood Braid Elf. Okay, there's a shadow. Okay, I have a shadow too, all right. My shadow gets bigger than his, but I have to go to three. His last card could easily be lightning. Super easily be lightning. Snapcaster Mage. Colagon's Command. Returns a Death Shadow. Okay. So now if he plays a Shadow... Oh, he can shock himself, though. Maybe he doesn't. The, the shadows might trade because he might not have a land to go get.
Fuck. Oh, he's got to have a swan. He's got to, well, he, yeah, so then now we just trade. All right, still not dead. Okay. Still in some trouble because this Snapcaster Mage. I need to draw like a removal spell from this Snapcaster Mage. Gross. Now I still have to draw a removal spell for the Snapcaster Mage. If I can get just something for this Snapcaster, we're in good shape. Or a blocker. Yeah, like, just keep them coming. My shadow's larger than his shadow. Come on, miss! Miss! Okay. Bottom, top, miss. Okay, well, that's. <sighs> so, <laughs> I'm just attacking. He kept a card on top, so I'm more likely dead. But. I'm just attacking to going up and then playing another shadow. He kept the card on top, so I'm, I think I'm dead. Yeah. Oh, unless he's got, does he have a fatal push? Yeah. Oh, man. God damn it. There's a push. Son of a gun. 